Chaos Solvers. Hello, bros and broesses of the internet, and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I'm your boy, Danny Boy, and let's get into it, shall we? So in the last episode, uh, we basically did a lot of Imperial fighting, uh, and we gained a reasonable sum of cash, I guess you could say. Uh, and then we... I can't remember if it was the episode before that, or this, or last one, whether we got another caravan or not. But yeah, we got another caravan at Oxhall. Uh, we're not quite breaking even, because we got, we inherited a new settlement over here, that they voted for us to have, the Lords of the Kujait Empire. Um, but yeah, we've got that settlement, and I think what we really need to do is obviously gain influence because with influence you can do a lot within a kingdom uh, and basically vote your way to having all all of the properties that we conquer um, so i think influence is where it's at uh, money we need to balance money and influence because you can get influence by donating prisoners to uh, keeps and things so we probably need to probably do that uh, to to basically expedite our influence gain uh, and also obviously uh, contributing to the garrison as well but we're not going to be doing that because uh, we like to have a full horde full of our lovely soldiers uh, who are indeed all horsemen because this is a horde playthrough and that's awesome and I am really loving it, because, basically, we take very little losses, and the enemy takes all the losses. So, we're doing well for ourselves. And I think, you know, uh, this is definitely a viable build, uh, as long as, obviously, you have your recruitment difficulty set to very easy. Because, otherwise, you're going to have to grind like hell, on those villages in order to wording uh, to basically get the ability to recruit the horses the, the horsemen that are generally down this end of the spectrum in recruiting so yeah I think you know the recruitment difficulty it's a thing of choice really uh, I like playing with it on very easy for the simple fact that I don't have to grind my way to having you know uh, a horde so yeah uh, I'm going to go and see if I can recruit any more soldiers to our cause horsemen as such and I'll also probably look at getting some war horses from some of the settlements that are around here just to make sure that we have enough to upgrade all our men I'll be back when I've done that look at all these wonderful war horses 11 of them it's amazing. Interesting, though. Our town was taken off us <laughs> by the lovely Imperials. Man, they're getting big. But that's alright. Uh, I don't actually mind because basically I would like the Imperials to push back and come back this way because if they take any of these towns, I can try and vote my way to having one of them and slowly, you know, take over. Uh, them if I can basically push back the Imperials, which I'm pretty sure I can do with my horde. I'm coming to your aid! So I've recruited to my maximum. I'm gonna go and help this person right now. Just saw him in the corner of my eye. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. Oh well. <laughs> I just got peppered. Uh, serves me right for charging head on into horse, uh, to, not to horse archers, to archers. Uh, that's hilarious. Not even my good armor could stop those arrows. <laughs> uh, that was quite funny. It's like a firing squad. Uh, well, I'm gonna get my charm up. As I said last game, I was gonna get my charm up, so I'm gonna start releasing people. Come out. Ah, Olipos. We meet to get Mina. Hello. Mina, my dear. It is time to meet the Horde. Follow your sergeant. The Horde is coming. Ah. Oh. 
That sweet hum never gets old. Fire! Loose arrows upon the enemy! Ah, oh, they're all running. Come here, archers. Not again. Shall not hit me again. Down you go. Uh, you're getting up on high ground. Unless you're retreating. In which case, I'm sorry for cutting you down. But, you know, war is war. We are the many horsemen of the apocalypse. Goodbye, Mina. Come here. Oh, she's going down. And down. Victorious! And zero losses. Oh, hello. Githor? I don't know how to say your name, my friend. Here you go. Now wait till daytime, because best time. Oh, they're all recruits again by the looks of it. You can tell by the amount of no shields that they have. <laughs> wrong cutting down recruits but you know shouldn't run right oh down you go there you're going pesky archer huh what do you think you're doing right Oh, devastation. And zero losses. Uh -huh. Nisa Kasa? I, what? <laughs> what is your name? No, Castle. I'm guessing. I don't know. Surrender or die, my friend. You ride to destroy our enemies. The horde and its will will not be stopped. Boom. And the Sturgeon's gone. You, pesky crossbowman. Gotcha! Oh no, that was an archer. Ah, oh, there we go. Finished you off. You hunt me down, eh? Aha! Uh -huh. And you go. There we go. Get rid of all these archers. Trying to be pesky little fellas, aren't they? There we go. Down you go. Uh, Nisakar War. Whatever your name is. Come here, buddy. Oh, pain. Right in the kidney. Hey. You stop being so conniving and conniving and maneuverable. I'm trying to get to you, buddy. No killing my mini. There we go. And zero losses again. You besieging my castle, boy? You and your 436 men? Holy guacamole. That is a lot of soldiers. Get rid of all these notifications, because I'm sure it annoys the hell out of people. Right. Sold all my stuff. Now let's go and find some more lords to target. Uh... You can't get a break, can you, my friend? I feel sorry for you. Do I, though? Well, just get good, mate. <laughs> Down you go, Cataphrac. Come here, you heavy horseman. Come here. There we go. Oh, they've been devastated already. Down you go. Excuse you. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was about to fire at me. Thanks, Jim! Hey. It is you and me again. Down you go. And we win. We'll let them go. I'm being nice now. 
You pulled well. I think I might actually take on the Kujates myself. This whole business of being involved with them. You know, I don't think I need to be. I don't think I need to betray them within. within. I need to betray them from outside. But I also need to go and do the Nizhet thing so I can become a proper kingdom and take them out. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave their service. I know it's going to upset a whole bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, they will dislike it indeed. Ouch, look at that negative 20. But oh well, we can rebuild that by destroying them. <laughs> Repeatedly. Which I will do. So. We are now a free body of soldiers. A free men of the steppe. And I'm going to go and do the initiate quest. So when I've gathered them all, I will be back. Oh, it is finally finished. <laughs> it took so long to find all the people that I needed so long so now we can go and talk to these people over here and carry on with the main quest excellent so we uh, talked to this guy I said I would see the empire destroyed of course you've heard of that piece uh, da, 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 da. and he tells me about a hideout which is up over here Forest bandits, which I dislike immensely because of their bows, but uh, we shall do that anyway. Down you go. Glaive for the win. That's that boy done. Go and get the other piece, shall we? Stay in the other's house. I am Genghis Khan. So what brings you to me? See, I wish everything was voice acted. That would be amazing. I don't know if they're actually working on that or doing that. That'd be pretty damn cool. Of course I intend to help save the Empire. Hmm. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered... Oh, I know where they are. Return to me and I'll help you put them into use. Hmm. Maybe not. I'll return to the other guy, I think. But thank you anyway for telling me the location. And Dirty Mountain Bandits. Let's do it. It's a tough guy, eh? Show you what the Kujades do to tough guys. I don't fight brigands. I have my weapon out. I don't want to engage them. Down you go. We have been blessed with victory. And done. Got all the banners. Let us go back to this man over here, because we're going to destroy the Empire. <laughs> right, it is time to wreak havoc upon our enemies. It's time to get the Kujates head on. And hopefully, we win, because <laughs> otherwise, we bug it. No, not really. We're not buggered. We can easily, easily come back if we do. Don't. So let's go and fight, shall we? Hopefully my caravans are not in the midst of the Kujate area, otherwise they're going to get wiped out. Let us go and find some Kujates to annoy, shall we? And so it begins. The Black Banners fly once again. The Horde is on the move. Gonna be tough, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Down you go. Down you go. Let's take out their cavalry. Hopefully, we can recruit soldiers from the soldiers we kill. Bonus. Down you go. Yeah, that's right. There we go. Now we seem to be fighting around a rock, which is not ideal. So let's move back. I'm gonna try and do some funky maneuvers here. There we go. Get rid of that guy. Come around for him. Yeah, you got him. The horde shall be victorious. Oh, and last minute down. The card is down! 
finish off our enemies. We fight stronger without him. <laughs> right. For the Khan. Let's do it. It'd be interesting if you could control one of your men after you've finished the battle. You can't command, but you could just control one of your men and fight. That'd be an interesting idea. 14 unconscious, 13 down. Look how many we are not fucked out there. Look how many recruits we can get. <laughs> yes, victory is indeed ours. Uh, you are free to go because I am going to slowly but surely increase my standing with you. Let's get rid of all, get these lovely soldiers right here. Uh, we'll take any horsemen really. Rest of you, I don't really want. Because the only ones I want are horsemen. Because I need to replenish my number. So. And so, my friends, the story of Genghis Khan gets a little bit spicier. Uh huh. Got you cornered now, buddy. Yeah, indeed. We're used to that. One unconscious. Not bad. You are free. Oh, who's this? Pole. Oh, double teaming me. Oh, I'll come for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to go? You want to go, bro? Follow me around. Luckily, he's just following me around, so I can uh, <laughs> lead him where I want him to go. Let's go up this way, shall we? And attack! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. Oh. Follow your sergeants. Good to be back in the step. Everyone! Cavalry! With me! As the horde rides across it. Come here. Yeah, dirty Kuja. Yeah. There we go. Get rid of this heavy lancer. Oh no, this is not a heavy lancer, this is the Lord. Come here. Ah, oh, this horse is faster than mine. What is this? Look how fast this horse is. It's like a Ferrari. That's what we are across the step. <laughs> yeah, down you go. Almost need a mace again so I can knock them out. Funny there was a long mace. I think it's the swinging power of this weapon that just basically causes so much devastation. Just absolutely destroys. And bang. More Kujad riders for us. Booyah. I mean, I'll take out this guy. Gotta get him before nightfall, though. There we go. Boink. And boink. Oh, nice spear throw, my friend. And defeat. Five lost, nine unconscious. It's alright. We're doing good. Rightio. It's that lot taken care of. Time to go and sell my stuff. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I leave you. And I wish to thank you, my friends, for your eyeballs on this episode. Thank you for watching. And our journey into the steppe now begins. Our slow conquering of the steppe shall be done methodically and meticulously, and we shall convert the lords to our side with our wonderful charm, as of sure Genghis Khan is known for. But anyway, if you like the video, give it a like. If you like to follow me on this journey, subscribe. And thank you very much, and have a good day.